Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? Doing great. Hey, Hazel. It's nice seeing you. Now I, I don't see you anymore, but it was nice. <laughs> 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 That's like short. How are you, Roberto? I'm fine. Have you been going to work still? No, tomorrow, I'll be in tomorrow. Ah, okay, well, but yeah, you still have to work. Oh my gosh, this didn't work. <clears throat> JC, how are you? Fine, fine. And you? Yeah, everything great. How do you feel? Um, a little nervous with coronavirus, but... Whatever yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh -huh. Okay, let's get started. Let me see what happened with this exercise, guys. I hate working with with a group or a team. Did you get the right answers in the end? Yeah, I have the, uh, the right answers. JC, have you completed this part? Yes. And everything I do. All right. What about you, Hazel? Um, I know if you received my message last week. Yes. I, I had surgery, and today I start to try to finish the exercise in the in the in the in the platform. In the platform, yes. Oh, okay. So you're trying to catch up. That's good. All right. Uh, we're going to watch the pronunciation of unreleased T and D. Okay. Unreleased and released. Both. Let's pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released, t and d. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound t or d at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. All right, is the unreleased part uh, sound clear? Can you hear? It's actually not that you don't pronounce it. You do say it, but right at the end you stop. So it's like you're gonna say she's not not good at. Okay, not good at. You do say that T, but you don't say not. You say not. It's like it stops here. Okay, and in this case, because you have D and you have T, it's one sound. You blend it into one same sound. So you say need to, need to. You don't say need it. Two, you say need to, okay? And <clears throat> so, uh, read this one, thank you. She's no good at uh, Release. Uh, Very good, next one, Hazel. You're muted. Say it again. I hate working on Sundays. Great, Roberto. You need to manage money well. Yes. All right. 
Now, this is the released one, but what happens in reality is that it sounds like an R, right? So you say nada, hate it, and nida. All right, kind of sounds like an R to me. So here you're gonna say he's nada, nada, hate it. Nada. <laughs> nada. All right, read this one. Hazel, the first one. He's not, oh, sorry. He's not a good artist. Good, uh -huh. He's not a good artist, okay. Next one, Jenny. They really hate it. Perfect, and the last one, Roberto. I need a cup of coffee. I need a, <clears throat> okay, is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Yep, all right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go on then. Hey, read the objective, please. Jenny. In this session, you will develop skill in listening <laughs> for male idea. Okay, let's do the listening <clears throat> about job hunting. First, let's read the questions before we listen, okay? Number one, build. We have the occupations, professions, all right? Shannon and Ben. Biologist, peacekeeper. Let's listen. And if this is section 5.8. 5.8. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Okay. Page 66, exercise five, part. Hold on. Hold on, have you gotten the answer? Yeah. Or you have to listen to it one more time. You got the answer? Okay, number one. Yes. What should Bill be, Jenny? Flight attendant. Flight attendant, okay. And Shannon, Roberto? A doctor. Okay, JC, number three. Ben, what should he be? Mm, model. A hey, model, all right, let's see. Model and sport. everything is right. Awesome. Choo -choo. Dun -dun. <laughs> we're almost done, and then we're going to get to the final test. How do you call that? Yeah. Final. Yeah. Right. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, read the objective, please. Hazel? At the, oh. At the end of this class, participants will learn adjective for describing personality traits. 
Yes, any questions about this vocabulary? No. No, what is the meaning of trained? <clears throat> you know what? I don't know the translation for that. I have no idea, but personality traits is like the aspects <laughs> about your personality, but it would be interesting to know. Hold on. It's a, like aspects of something. Um, Okay. What word? Trait. Rasco. Ah, okay. I was going to say characteristics, but yeah. So that's a trait. Rasco. The same thing. Okay. Same. Yeah, I was going to say characteristics. Then I, then I forgot. Okay. So personality traits. Let's... Personality traits. Let's listen to some vocabulary and then we're going to practice. Can you say trait personality? Sorry? Huh? What did you say? Hello. Nice. Which of these adjectives All right, listen. are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized. Efficient. Forgetful. Generous. Hardworking, impatient, level headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad tempered, creative, critical tempered. Okay. Uh, let's read all of these. Listen and repeat, okay? Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Creative. 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 Critical. 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 Disorganized. 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 Efficient. 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 Yeah, it's not so like E, it's shorter, all right? So efficient. 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 That sounds efficient. better. Forgetful. 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 Generous. 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 Hard working. Hard working. Hard working. <laughs> Impatient. Impatient. That's me. <laughs> Level headed. Level headed. Level headed. Moody. 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 Functional. Oh, reliable. Reliable. reliable, straight, straight, straight. straight. Okay, so let's decide as a class whether the adjective is positive or negative. Okay, so bad tempered, That's negative, right? Negative. negative. What about creative? Positive. 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 You think it's positive? You want to type the answer? Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to type positive. it. Positive. So you're saying this is positive. Very good. Critical. Negative. Negative. Being critical is negative, you think? Yeah. Why? What's the meaning of critical to begin with? I think it's a I don't know, but. <laughs> I don't know, but it sounds bad. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay. Critical, uh, we're going to read the definition, okay? Read the definition, Roberto. Expressing advance, adverse, mm -hmm. or disapproving comments or judgment okay. of read, someone read who critical two. that. Expressing, expressing or involving in analyzed of the merits and faults of a work of literature, music, of art. Mm -hmm. So for, I don't know, for me it's like in between. No, it's someone, someone who criticizes your work, like, ooh, like, always criticizing your work, like, you're not doing your job good, like, 
you're doing this wrong like you know, cause the, the person could be objective i don't know I and mean, we're like critical nah. thinking critical thinking is not accepting everything that comes to you but evaluating it first and then giving your your opinion so i don't know but i'm going to listen to you and say it's negative all right you win this round <laughs> creative so negative what about disorganized negative negative so negative. negative no debate on this okay efficient positive 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 okay forgetful negative negative uh -huh. generous positive positive okay this is what we're critical doing. okay if somebody can please take a screenshot of this and i'm gonna send one too but this is what we're going to do i would like you to one person please share the screen with the other person and and decide whether it is negative or positive but i want you to discuss why okay so you practice a little bit of speaking is that clear you're gonna do the rest of this so you can either justify uh, the reason why you decided it's positive or negative or give an example and also tell the other person whether you are bad temper or not whether you're creative or not critical or not is that clear yeah yeah all right i know hold on let me type it for you okay so i'm saying number one right decide whether it is if it is negative or affirmative or, or I mean positive then say why or give an example okay and finally tell your classmate all right tell your classmate if you are x so if you are creative critical disorganized or not so three things but let's do it quickly, all right? Ready? And I'm gonna be listening to you anyway. I'll only have two groups, so. Accept the invitation, please. Two, two three, yep. So which word are we doing? All of them? Yes. Yes, all of them. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay. The second column. Hi, Noe is here. Only the second. Hi, Noe. <laughs> I can't hear you. Uh, only the second column hear you. yes yes go ahead work with the second one only the second column okay Her principal activities and in, in order uh i, I it's is that i think it's yeah but yeah, it's good because you may be more uh, when you have more energy with another person that is hardworking, maybe. I think okay. it will be more energetic and productive. That. <laughs> so it's positive for you. Yeah, it's positive. Okay, the next is impact impatient impatient what is the correct impatient okay. impatient 
Impatient. Impatient is negative. <laughs> yeah. Something when you are very impatient. Mm -hmm. Who is impatient? What about all of you? Level, what up? Huh? Who is impatient? All of you? Nah, mm -hmm. only me, no. I think. <laughs> for sort of things. Certain things? Yeah. What, for example, making a line? <laughs> making a line, never lie. <laughs> hey, what about you, JC? Uh, so it's impatient. 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 No, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Can you hear Noe? Eh? But can you hear me, Noe? Eh? Noe is, is on. Noe is mute tonight. Can you Bye. give a sample of level headed? Level-headed is somebody who is very arrogant. Ah, uh, okay. They're like, ah, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm the best one here, <laughs> sort of. Let me check on the girls. Ah, uh, uh, with cheap emotion. It's too uh -huh. happy or... And right now I am hungry. Or... Uh -huh. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's the meaning of like, food. Booty. A, pe a person give to unpredictable um, chains of more, I mm -hmm. Change okay. the char character? Yes. It, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. the character. Mm -hmm. And punctual. 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 Oh, positive. Positive. Are you moody? No. <laughs> No. Only when we're hormonal, I think we're moody. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Only that. Yeah. In, it's in these true, days. True. Uh -huh. The what? I'm sorry. In that days. Ah, those days. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. What's the next one? Punctual. 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 Is positive. Yes, it's positive. Yes, but it's it's difficult to be punctual. Yeah, that it's a little bit difficult. Um, reliable, 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 reliable. 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 Yes, okay. reliable is somebody who you can trust, but not only that, you can count on them. Oh, so if you have a problem, they're going to be there for you. They will help you. Ah, okay. You can also say, for example, my internet connection is reliable <laughs> because you can use it and you can count on it. So it's not only for people. Okay. Reliable is only for people, right? No, it's for a no, to lot. person or object. I think. Oh, oh, it okay. means you can count on them when you need them. Wait. You finished? Yes. Yes, right. All right. Yeah. Let's go back. I was thinking. It, it, it. Hold on. No way. Yeah, we can. Okay. Well, Noe, you can hear us, so if you want to listen, that's okay. You're welcome to, to stay and listen to mm. us, although we, we cannot hear you. It's a one-way communication here. Okay, uh, we're going to do the listening now, all right, related to this. Help me check it, okay? Let's listen. Hold on. And we're going to choose which one or what adjective we should, we should assign to that person, okay? Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? 
She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two. A okay, so what adjective can we use to describe this bus? Serious. 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 Okay, that's that. There it is. <laughs> you like my tech? All right, next yeah. one. A co worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Yeah, who wouldn't want that? How can we Generous. describe her? Generous. Generous. There it is. All right, next one. Bird. Creative. Critical. Then check the adjective. One. Lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a job. Hard to even get a smile. Worker. Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three. A teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four. A relative. Okay. How would you describe her? Moody. 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 All right. Yeah, do you know people who aren't like that? Are there moody people in your life? No? <laughs> okay, let's do the last one. Hold on. Relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, what's the adjective? Bad temper. Bad tempered. Okay, awesome. Very good. Great. Now, quickly. All right, everybody, help me out. Unmute the microphone, please. I'm going to unmute it here. I'm going to unmute all of your microphones. Okay, so simply say yes or no, okay? If you are, say yes. If you aren't, well, obviously say no. Okay, are you creative? Yes. No, hey, you, no. you can nod, all right? You are creative, okay? <laughs> Who else? JC? Why? No, are you what? creative? Simply say yes or yes. no. Yes. Jenny? Yes. Yes. Roberto? <laughs> yes. Okay, everybody here is creative, huh? <laughs> yes. Okay, you can nod or shake your head. No, it depends, all right? Critical. Checky, 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 checky. Critical. Everybody say yes or no, everybody. Critical. The dog no. said he is critical. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I am critical. No, <laughs> no not critical. JC? Ah, later. <laughs> ah. <laughs> He's being honest. <laughs> well, that's good. Be honest. Uh, uh, 10%. 10%? Oh, that's not, not, that's not a lot. Hazel? That's more than enough. The normal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Average. <laughs> Hazel. Okay, disorganized. Okay. Come on, be honest, guys. Show your room. No. Let me see the room. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Show the room, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, no, eh? Ah, okay. So, so. Jenny? Sometimes, so, so. Okay, forgetful. 100% forgetful. 
hundred percent. That's my case. Half and half. Fifty fifty. Half half. Twenty percent. Forgetful. No. Forgetful. A little, okay. <laughs> so I think I have, I will have Alzheimer one day then. All right, let me see. Mm -hmm. Who is hardworking? Everybody, right? Hardworking. Everybody. JC, Jenny. Everybody. Noe is very hardworking. Hazel. Yes. <laughs> me, teacher. You to every. I knew it. I knew everybody was hard hardworking. Like, yeah, because tell me, who in the right mind studies English at 8 p.m.? Nobody. You have to be a hardworking person to study, right? Right? Yeah. No, right. He agrees. He yes. Agrees. Okay. Well, everybody is. I mean, who would be working at 11.33 p.m.? A hardworking person here, too. Everybody here is. <laughs> wow. That's so late at night. It's late. Yeah, I finished at 1.00. Okay, who is punctual? JC, you're punctual, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I try. I try. Yeah, you're incredibly punctual. Roberto Noe, too. He tries. He's like, man, spitting up on his way home to be on time for class. Okay, mm. and the last one, who is generous? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you my bank account number in case you're generous. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody's generous, huh? Okay. Nobody. Okay, it's okay. I take that. Now I would like you to practice some speaking related to personality. Okay. So I'm gonna send you the questions. Practice with different people. You know, Noe can nod and shake his head. That's all you can get from him. But that's something. That's communication still. Okay, so um, let me see. Hazel, you're going to be with Roberto, all right? And then Jenny. And then Jenny, Noe, and JC. Accept the invitation, please. Check WhatsApp. I'm going to send you some questions right now. You got the answer? I mean, the questions. Okay. These are some tough questions. Yep. They always are. Personally, okay. You want to go first? <laughs> need to go first. I answer uh, Yeah, one you person, answer. One person reads the question and both of you answer it. Okay. Yeah, okay. both. Both answer. Okay, oh. Jose. Okay. Who's the first? Hi. Are you ready to introduce a call for a reason? Okay. Uh, I think my personality is happy. Okay. And you know? Yeah, you, you cannot hear Noe, but you can type the answer, Noe. Type it here to the chat book. Here. Did you see that? No. The answer is there. All right. Uh, read the next question, JC. Okay. What kind of people do you get along well which? 
with. What kind of so, people do you get along well with? What kind of Is that question clear? Uh, what when you get along is so far for me so far i don't understand that i'm sure i don't understand get along what do you mean ah get along means mm -hmm. llevarse bien get along well ah, okay. uh-huh what kind of people what's the personality they need to have for you to get along with them happy person it has to be a happy, happy person, person. Not, not true no critical uh-huh uh, hard work how do you yeah hard work how do you say confiably truthfully no reliable or trustworthy okay reliable, reliable. Okay, the difference between trustworthy and reliable is this. Listen, reliable is somebody you can count on when you need them, okay? And trustworthy is somebody you can trust, meaning you can tell them your secrets and they will not tell anybody, for example. That is trustworthy. Mm -hmm. okay. Trustworthy. No, trustworthy. Like, let me type it. Worthy. Trustworthy. Like that. No, eh? I haven't seen the answer here. Trustworthy, okay. Okay, uh, next question, Jenny. What kind of personality traits do you hate? The traits. Traits. Uh -huh. Impatient person. Uh, That's what I was thinking. Uh, a critical. Yeah. Yeah, more than and, um, critical, JC, a judgmental person. Yeah, but many people only critical in bad situation. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's not, it's not um, to apport. It's not to contribute. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. No, it says he gets along with reliable persons. Okay, awesome. Next question, JC. Nice. Okay, that way. Yeah, the same, my case. What about your friends? The same. Uh, all people that have different personality, but my, my close friends, uh, have similars. Sometimes we we say uh, maybe we 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 was sister or family or family in in other time. Or um, I, under life. I understand. Uh -huh. So you're very. But where did you meet your friends, Hazel? In school or? Uh, I I have friends in was. Was study in the high school. I have uh, friends in, we graduated in the university and I have two friends, close friends in the work. Ah, okay, that's great. Yeah, that's a lot. What about you, Roberto? Well, when I grew up in here, I have friends, well, I got like three or four of my friends that when I grew up here, before I went to the United States, I found them and I still talk to them. And sometimes we like go to the fields and play soccer. And I got fr I got new friends at uh, my job. That's great, good. How how long have you been in the in El Salvador for? Did you say five years? Um, three? In, no. In May, I'm going to have three years now since I came back. You're not going to have. It's going to be three years since you went back. Yes, it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be three years. Oh, three years. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're adapting well then. Good. Yeah, kind of. All right, what's the next question? 
the next question is what kind of personality traits are best for running a business? I think the best the best personality responsible and responsibility create responsible responsible responsibly let me no, see responsible 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 right it's okay. not it's a it's a it's an e responsible responsible but it's going to he's talking about trades shouldn't okay. be so you want to say responsibility Responsibility it's, is an uh, is an act, like an activity. Responsible. It, yes. Uh huh. Really? Responsible is the adjective. Responsibility is a noun. Ah. So the really person, good. what traits does the person? What personality trait does the person need to have? So the person needs to be responsible. Responsible. Uh -huh. Yes. Or personalities or do we de develop them because or what happens to you? Think we're more with our personality. I think some uh, some ones do you have we do you have it? I don't know why. Hmm. I think to your with, question, no? I'll read it. Uh -huh. I think the the personality bore with us, but the skill to development when happen uh, many situation. I don't. I it's a good idea. It seems like it, but I didn't get it, J C. Could you elaborate a little bit more? Uh, when. Uh, to have a uh, many situation to develop the the personality um, uh -huh. get a uh, 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 skill to modify the personality modify, modify. Uh -huh. I think okay so you think that your personality is modified depending on the situations you experience, the life life situation. It changes. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, I no, so. yeah, I agree, I think, because he says that we develop the personality with life for a longer mm -hmm. lifetime. Yeah, that is right. Yeah, personality changes a lot. Yep. Then many. Exactly. Uh, okay. And let's read the last one, okay? That's going to be the last question, and we're going to finish. So, which of your personality traits would you like to lose or to develop, either or? Yeah, that's right. I need to lose in petting. <laughs> for example. And <Yeah>, why patience? <laughs> or in, in, in someone, some one situation, a bad temper. You want to get rid of that? Jenny? Yeah. Noe? Mm, I'm just too impulsive. Ah, maybe... okay. You are, you are impulsive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did this. <laughs> so you put off stuff. You're a procrastinator, you know. Eh? Procrastinator, is that what you are? Yeah, kind of. Then I don't understand. I don't understand. Then <laughs> he's like, 
<laughs> no sign language here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Procrastination, isn't that what it is? You put off stuff. Okay. Put off stuff. Yeah, but that is the adjective. I'm a, it's not an adjective, so now I am a procrastinator. Like this. I procrastinate. All right, let's go back, guys. Okay. Hi. Hi, welcome back. Um, did you find the the exercise interesting at all? A little. Kind of. Sorry. Yes. Tough questions. Tough questions. <laughs> yeah, you know what? They always end up being a little bit psychological. I think, right? <laughs> I feel like I was in a psychiatrist. <laughs> psychiatrist. What? Yes. Well, that would be a psychologist. Yeah, I don't know. I like these questions anyway. Uh, supposedly, I came here to study psychology, but I'm not studying right now. So, yeah. But they're not, my questions. they're not my questions. I only look for personality questions, and I have these. So, Okay, um, let's move on. We're going to watch a video. This part is very easy because you know how to use this word. So let's watch it regardless and tomorrow we'll practice okay okay can you see the screen yeah okay i'm gonna mute all of you so we can listen yeah and one second are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason stay with us and see how the word because is used Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. Please share your responses on a discussion. Um, so, do you have questions about this part? No, right? Using because is pretty simple. I have a question. Okay, tell me. She said in the video, like, the word because is used to answer a question with the word why. Mm -hmm. But when I was in school, back in high school, they told me never answer, never start in a, a answer we because mm -hmm. so never start an answer with because but that's interesting you have to they, explain to me because they the teachers always tell us always use a complete sentences ah i see okay but what were you studying? ESL. Yeah, no, okay, I see, I see what happened there. The thing is, okay, imagine I'm 
And if you notice here, these are complete sentences. Even the other way around, if you change the, the position of the word, it is still complete. Mm -hmm. So but yeah, those when, are complete sentences. Okay, but when when your teachers tell you to answer with complete statements, it's not limited to the word because, but it is in general. Like I can tell you, uh, what is your phone number, for example? And I would expect a beginner student to say my phone number is la 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 but that is not natural speaking and you know that right so a good answer mm -hmm. would be what's your phone number 305-679 that's good but when you're learning you need to make complete sentences mm -hmm. just to practice it's not that it is wrong it's not wrong it's just for you to practice so if I say why did you go to la 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 you don't say because of this you say I went to that place because of this because they want you to practice the structure that's why it's not that it is uh, right or wrong mm -hmm. okay yeah hmm. good that was a good question i liked it but anyway yeah um you're gonna explain because to express the reason okay basically and you know that this is simple to express the reason of something. And you can put it at the beginning or at the end. If you put it at the beginning, you're gonna use a comma, okay? So, because I was sick, comma, I didn't go to work. Or, I didn't go to work because I was sick, okay? Because of the coronavirus, people are not going to work. Uh -huh. And this is the cause. Look, if I am sleepy, comma, I drink coffee. This is another example. It has nothing to do, but it, 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 ha it kind of does. Okay, I drink coffee. If coffee doesn't I am take away this. Okay, the comma, what do they have in common? That the first part is the cause. The second part is the result or effect. I like that better, cause and effect. So you see, because, la, 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 this is the cause, right? If I'm sleepy, this is the cause. What's the effect? This one. What's the effect? This one. So when you have cause, effect in that order, use a comma. If you invert the order, don't use the comma. No comma, okay? <laughs> no comma. No comma. If you invert the order, no comma, all right? <laughs> but yeah, cause and don't effect. Eat. Comma. This is the, the correct spelling. Cause, comma, effect. If you invert it, no comma. Any questions? No? No. No, teacher. You think comma should be translated into E in English? I don't understand. No, you don't get it. Nah, okay. No, what did you say? Say it again. In should, in, in should comma translate it to E in English? <laughs> nah, I was just, you know, it was um, a pun. I think it's P-U-N. I think that's the word. It, I, was, I was just playing with Spanish and in English. That's it. Okay, tomorrow we're going to work on giving or, or giving reasons, okay, using this word. Thank you for joining me tonight, everyone. It was nice okay. seeing you. Okay, it's okay. the last week. We have three more classes, so please don't leave me by myself here. Join me, please, tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I appreciate good it. Good night, everyone. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.